Hello and welcome to the Kubernetes Challenge Series. My name is Mumshad Manambeth and this is Code Cloud. The Kubernetes Challenge Series is an add-on to the lectures and practice exercises that come with the Kubernetes series of courses. These are designed to help give you practical hands-on exposure to working on real-life scenarios on Kubernetes. These help you in preparing for the Kubernetes certification exams as well. The challenges are to be solved on a hosted Kubernetes cluster that is accessible right in your browser. Each student gets uh, exclusive access to a simple Kubernetes cluster. Each challenge requires your skills on various Kubernetes concepts around design, implementation, and troubleshooting. This is the first challenge in the series. This challenge requires you to deploy a two-tier application using WordPress and MySQL with storage configured on an NFS share. So this challenge tests your knowledge on concepts like pods, replica sets, deployments, services, secrets, environment variables, persistent volumes, and persistent volume claims. Click on the link to access the challenge. Once you're ready, click on Start Scenario to get started. This is the terminal that you will be using to access the cluster. Here you can type kube control commands and view the cluster details. So for example, you have, uh, this is a single node cluster, so you have a master and one node. Click on the challenge portal at the top to open up the challenge question. So this opens up a separate um, browser tab and here you have the challenge that you need to solve. So the ask is to deploy the below architecture and this is what you need to do. Uh, so this is what you need to solve. And so this is the architectural diagram and you can actually click on each of them to see more details. So when you click on each of these, you get to see the specifications that you need to use. So as you can see, we have starting with, we have persistent volumes, we have persistent volume claims, we have deployments, um, services, and secrets. And if you'd like to see uh, what, what is the specification for the deployment, this is uh, what it shows. So you have uh, the name. So the deployment should be named as WordPress, should have two replicas, the image to be used, the volume mount, volume mount path, etc. Similarly, uh, you have information about services as well. Uh, there are other components that you do not have to worry about, which is which are the ones that are in a white um, box. So here you have an NFS share. So the NFS share is pre-configured, so you don't need to uh, worry about that. And you also have the user element, so the user accessing your application. Uh, in this case, the user is going to be yourself. So you're going to access the application once this is complete using another link, which is given right above your terminal, which is called the WordPress application. So the, the challenge is to deploy a WordPress application with a MySQL uh, database, uh, both using um, NFS share uh, as, a, uh, as the storage, and then finally have a service, a front end service created through which the user is going to access the application. And then you can access the application using this link. Okay, so um, so that's the whole idea. So you can start from anywhere, start from the bottom and go all the way to the top. So uh, I'm gonna give you an, a quick example on how to get started. So I'm gonna start with this particular uh, persistent volume. And if you look up here, it says uh, the volume name, uh, it should be named as WordPress persistent storage. Uh, the storage amount is one GI access modes, rewrite many, NFS path should be HTML, and um, even the arrows are have information. So for example, the persistent volume should be using NFS share. So if you click on the arrow, it shows you the NFS server information. So it's NFS01, that's, that's the NFS server. So I'm going to start with one. Um, so I'm going to create a persistent volume. And if you don't know um, the syntax for the um, definition file uh, refer to the Kubernetes documentation. So I'm going to go to the Kubernetes site. And this is also a good practice to help you um, prepare for the certification exam. 
uh, walking through the uh, documentation site. So just search for persistent volume. So I'm going to click on the first link. And right here, I'm going to pick um, the syntax for the definition file. Okay, so that's right here. Um, okay, so I'm going to copy that. And I'll actually create a new directory. I will go inside it and I, I will create the new uh, file. So I'm going to call it persistent volume for WordPress. YAML. I'm going to paste the details. Okay, so I will now do a PV WordPress.yaml. I'm going to edit that file. And now I can go back and look at uh, the details that are given to me. So if you see, if you select the persistent volume, the volume name is WordPress Persistent Storage. I'm going to copy that. Okay. And uh, the capacity is 1 GI. So I'm going to update that as well. Um, I'm going to leave the uh, volume mode. Access mode is rewrite many. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of that storage class name. I don't need that. I don't need any mount options. I'm going to get rid of all of that. Okay, the server. The server name is. Um, that's in the arrow right here. So that's NFS01. Uh, it's also given here, NFS01. I'm going to set that to NFS01. Um, okay, and, and the path. So the path should be HTML. Okay, so uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it test. Uh, I just want to show you something. And I'm going to save that file. Okay. And I'm going to create um, create the persistent volume using the cube control create command. Okay. And now I'm going to list it. Cube control um, get pv. And that lists the persistent volume. So I have the persistent volume created. It's WordPress persistent storage. 1 GBF capacity, um, and I have the status is available, so it's, it's created. And I can check the work that I did using this check button right here. So when you click on check, it goes out and runs a set of tests, and it tells you what's been done. So I have all of these, uh, all of these are read. Uh, so the idea is by the end of this challenge, you must, uh, everything must be green. So as you can see here, this is what I tried to create. And if you click on it, uh, but it's actually red even though the persistent volume exists. And the reason for that is if you click on it, you get to see you get to see that all the specifications are green except for the path because we we used uh, we used a different path. We used we used test, so that was a problem, and that's what I wanted to show you. So if something is wrong, if one of the specifications don't match what was requested, then it actually tells you that that's wrong. So, um, but we actually got the arrow right because we used NFS01 as a, as a server. That's why this arrow is green. So ultimately you want to uh, have everything green, right? Um, so I'm gonna go back to fix that. I'm gonna delete that persistent volume. And I will update the file to use the right path. Um, I will set it to 
HTML and save the file and I will create the persistent volume again. Okay, so it's created again. This time I go in and I check and it's all green. Um, click on it again. Okay, you need to click on it again to get it updated. Okay, so you can see that it's all green and it's also used the right NFS server and that the arrow is green too. So uh, you must follow the same procedure. Um, select each one and create them and make sure they, they all uh, work with each other. Um, and finally, that the user is able to access the WordPress application. Um, so that's about it from the demo. Um, so go ahead and give it a shot yourself. Uh, if you find um, uh, something is wrong, uh, some test is not right, please do reach out to us, let us know. Um, and if you want to know the solution to this, um, it's actually available on our um, GitHub page. So we will add a link to that as well. So if you go to uh, our GitHub page at code cloud hub slash Kubernetes challenges, um, we have the first challenge right here and you get to see um, the solution. Now, if you wanted to run this on your own cluster, um, this whole um, demo, then we also have some supporting files that uh, tell you how to set up a NFS cluster, etc. But yeah, if you want to solve the NFS cluster, the NFS server is already set up in our environment. So this is what you should follow to, uh, to solve it. So if you go into the K8s folder, um, you have all the files, uh, which is basically the solution to this challenge, all right? Um, okay, so that's it for um, this demo. That was the first challenge in a series of uh, challenges. We will regularly come up with new challenges, so, and each one will focus on specific areas of Kubernetes concept. Um, some may focus on design, some may focus on implementation, some may focus on troubleshooting, etc. So please do subscribe to our channel to get notified when new challenges are made available. If you have any suggestions, please send them to us. That's it for now. Thank you for your time and good luck in solving these challenges.